I'm Tree, and this is a Project Transparency Supplemental Booktube being hauling video thing. I will eventually get this so that it's a little less awkward and have a better title. So, first thing is we have a farmer's market where I live, like most places do, but I live in a very, very small place, so having a farmer's market is really exciting. And there was this young lady there who is essentially an herbalist. She makes things from the essential oils from plants that she collects herself. Either she wild harvests them or she grows them herself. And they're really amazing. I bought this stuff called Thieves. Thieves. And it's basically the same herbs and oils and things that like plague doctors put in their masks during the Black Plague and that thieves rubbed on themselves when they stole things from bodies in graveyards. So yeah, it's it's very clove heavy, which if you know me and you do Lane, you know I like clove. I know you don't like clove, but I like clove. Clove is one of my favorite scents. So this smells like, so this smells like clove. And I think there's some vetiver in there. I'm not sure what all's in there. It doesn't have like a list of it. It doesn't have like a list on it of what scents are in it, but I really like it. And it's, you know, antibacterial, antiviral thingy keeps you from the plague. She also, because she wasn't certain that oils were necessarily a thing that would draw people to her table, especially where I live. And she's probably not necessarily wrong, but I think it's awesome. She made these really amazing bags, which, you know me, Lane, I'm not really a purse person, I'm like a satchel person, and then I have the child eater bag from Chrome, which is amazing, and I could fit a four-year-old in it if I want to, but this was just so brilliantly ugly and amazing, and yes, I had to have it, and I, I have minor concerns with how it's made, but it's, they're all concerns that I can fix should they prove to be a design challenge. Okay, this is an oldie, but a goodie. It's an ice bag. Now I know what you're thinking. What do you use an ice bag for when you don't have a fever or whatever? Because where I live, it doesn't necessarily get hot enough to warrant having air conditioning the entire summer. Ceiling fans and ice bags are your friend. Basically, you plop the thing on your head and it'll cool you off. If you watched the Teen Wolf video review that I did for the Rainbow Hub this week, I, I had this thing on my head the entire time because yesterday was hot. Lane, you know that getting to things like Target and other places that would be more fun or have more interesting things is kind of hard for me because I live out in the boonies. But our Wally World had these really adorable back to school pen pouches. Look at that! They're little like creepy kawaii kawaii cupcakes. This one's actually gnomes. I'm just showing it to you because it's amazing and I kinda wish I had got one too. Instead I got hipster birds. It's really an aesthetic I like. I just really like the cupcakes too. I may have to get myself one yet. Can never have too many pencil bags, especially when you're an artist. Connected to that also is an Avengers um, pen box. It's one of those metal ones. I like these a lot. I, I, I like that they're metal and they're sturdy and they're graphic. And yes, these are some of my favorite things. I actually use them as cash boxes when I'm at shows. Because who's going to go, oh, well, you know, pencil box. I, as I just tell this to the entire world. But yes, before I went to Illinois, I picked up some new portable speakers that didn't have to be, you know, plugged into a wall. And iHome makes these really nice ones. They are USB, pl USB plugs. My only complaint, literally my only complaint is that 
It is the brightest freaking LED in the history of ever. And it's on whenever the ear whenever the speakers are on and that makes me incredibly angry. <laughs> so basically they kind of get hidden when they're being used so that I don't have to deal with the light. Oh, connected to the thieves because just proving that clove is one of my favorite scents. It's like clove and cinnamon and peppermint, not necessarily all together are my favorite, is my favorite uh, lip balm stuff. It's it's Clove Cigarette by Tokyo Milk. It's my favorite stuff. I also got myself some new dry erase markers, which I have already, which I have already opened, actually. But I really like them. They're from the Board Dudes. They were really inexpensive and they were bright, and they are working better than the you know official whatever dry erase marker ones that are like the standard. I like them much better. The colors are better too. Okay. So, Lane knows this, and some of the rest of you may know this, but a while ago I bought myself a Wacom pen, a Wacom stylus to use with my iPad. And I really like it, and it comes in this really, like, sturdy, like, super sturdy case. This super, st super sturdy case. Like, you can drop this, and it's fine. I've actually dropped it a couple times. And it comes with two like nubs and it has the weirdest size batteries in the history of ever. They're quad A's. So like if you order this thing, order batteries too because they are weird and not necessarily easily found. But th this is the pen. This this is the stylus. I got it in blue because the options were blue or black. If there was a red, there would, it would have been red because red goes faster. Joke for you there, Lane. Um, and it has palm canceling technology, and it has these two. I don't even know if you can see it. It has these two buttons that you can program to be like your undo and your redo, which is really helpful for me. And my only complaints are that it, it's Bluetooth. So basically, you go, like you use it with Procreate or whatever. It works with works with a bunch of different apps, but I use it mostly in Procreate. You go into the app and you you know poke the devices section and hit the button. Literally, you hit literally you hit like the center between the two upraised areas of the button to wake it up. My only complaints are that. You can't leave the battery in it because if you do, the battery will die because it will constantly do the I want to connect to something thing. It's like your phone trying to find a connection. It just kills the battery. And my other complaint is that the tip is ginormous. If they could make a tip for this, like a replacement tip that was narrower, that would be a joy. Those are my complaints. They are very, very, very minor complaints, and I have gotten around it. It's back to school time, and there are tiny, adorable, tiny, adorable, brightly colored crates for like a buck. I bought seven. Only four of them are for me, but yes. Tiny crates are brilliant, and I'm always looking for more things to put other things into. So that has been what I have been collecting lately and things that oh can't tell if you can see I am wearing my cephal bunny shirt isn't it awesome so yes I am wearing my cephal bunny shirt it just came out of the laundry so I thought I would wear it for y'all and I think that is the haul for this week wow I keep forgetting things that I want to talk about this is why you make scripts tree also, in case you haven't seen my other video, I spent some time with Photoshop and designed labels for things I sell at like art walks and things. And there may there may be a graphic designer in me yet. And the Adobe Cloud trial I'm doing, I really really like it and I may have to suck it up and get a actual subscription to it books because I promised 
booking, book review things. Book one is The Rise and Fall of Radiation Canary by John Cannon. And it's such a good book. And it's such a good book, and it's not necessarily a book that publishers would necessarily publish. I think John published it himself on Amazon, and now it's being made into a hard a hardback book, a, a IRL book. But it's about these four young women who serendipitously find each other and form a band. And two of the young women are two of the young women are gay and there are people of color and they are they're well written. They have huge character flaws just like everybody else, but they have immense strength just like everybody else. They have their weak moments, they have their strong moments, they have their moments when they're petty, they have their moments when they're brave. It's brilliant. It feels like what it's like to create when you read it because one of the main one of the band care one of the band members and ostensibly our main character, she has most of the POVs, Karen is a poet who is also who is also a classically trained musician. So you end up with a lot of her creative process. And yeah, it's really, really, really good. Karen has a love of Tesla, which automatically makes me like her. <laughs> so yeah, go, 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 go at least get an e-copy of The Rise and Fall of Radiation Canary and read it. And then when you love it, go buy a t-shirt to support John. And I just finished reading, I just finished reading The Looking Glass Wars again by Frank Bador because I was writing a Libertine Ladies article on Red from the Looking Glass War series, which you can read this week on the Rainbow Hub. It'll probably go live tomorrow or Friday. And I'm a sucker for pretty much anything steampunk and pretty much Alice and pretty much anything else in Wonderland, so this, this is going to do it. Unfortunately, it's not necessarily as well conceptualized as I would like it to be. It's enjoyable. It's definitely enjoyable, but you can see where there's so much more possibility for it. And it kind of just slides down in quality as it goes, and that's sad. There is a graphic novel series about Hatter, Hatter Madigan, who is the Queen's personal guard. He throws his top hat, um, which I haven't read, but it looks lovely. So that might be something to pick up in in the future to give it a try. But yes, it's it's a good lark read. All right, Lane, I think I have officially talked about all the things that I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to go and edit video and generally make myself slightly unhinged with Premiere. As much as it is wonderful, it is also equally frustrating. Go figure. Bye.